I think it's fantastic. He signed a new deal. Um, I you, even you though you know it. he wants to stay, even no, I am. I'm thrilled. Right? I, I am. Um, <laughs> you know, we, uh, I'm so it. glad that. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> there. This is the official Leeds United podcast. No, 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 no. I'm not happy that we lost. But it's something that's definitely going to give us a little bit of a kick, a, a bit of a boost yeah. to, to push us on and let us know, listen, we can't take everything for granted. Last season was a phenomenal season for a multiple, uh, multiple reasons. However, it's not a given. So it doesn't mean that we're going to turn up this season and every single game is going to be given to us, handed to us. We still yeah. got to turn up. We still got to give 100% all of the time to, to let them know that they're constantly going to be in a game. Yeah, exactly. And, and it's, it's, you know what? I was just, just like, the, with the, with this squad of players that we've got, you know, which, which I feel very privileged to, to have spoken to a bunch of them and know a couple of them. Much like, much like after losing in the final of the Euros for England, it's like, yeah, it hurts the fans, but I know this group of players, it's going to hurt them a lot more having to walk off that field losing 5 1 at Old Trafford. They, they're, they're, mm-hmm. they're, they're not walking off going, ah, oh, well, that was wrong. They, that's going to hurt them. Yeah, absolutely. And they're going to they're going to they're going to want to show a response at the weekend. It's going to it's going to pain them even more so because they're going to be sitting in the in the video analyst room afterwards yeah. watching the <laughs> yeah. full 90 minutes. Each one of them watching their own 90 minutes of of every single one of their touches, their runs, their movement, their closing down, etc. And it's going to hurt them because they'll be able to see where they could have maybe gotten a cl- uh, a yard closer or whatnot. Yeah. So you know, like I said before, the reaction has got to be what we're going to see on the weekend. It's got to be a positive one and it's got to be one where everybody's up for it. Like Everton won. Uh, they, 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 I think they went a goal down and they men- ended yeah. up coming back to, to win 3-1. So they'll be on a natural high anyway, you know. So it's, it's up to us, especially in the first 10, 15 minutes to, to really put them under a lot of pressure and see, see what they're made of. All leads, aren't we? The official Leeds United podcast. Uh, Bex, you were there, weren't you, at the weekend? You were at Old Trafford. What What was it like? Obviously, um, you'll have been in and amongst the Leeds fans, but what was it like just to have fans back fully in a stadium? Um, firstly, I wasn't in and amongst the Leeds fans, frustratingly. <gasps> no, I know. Where were I know. you? Like, where, where? I tried to. Guess where I was? I was in the Stretford end. In oh, a corporate box full of, oh, right. full oh, of the Legion United supporters. Oh, I was going to say, how did that go down? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I, bet, yeah. I, bet, I bet they love you at Old Trafford. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> couple, so we, we, were stood, we were stood just outside the, um, the box having a look over the, the pitch. Like we had the best view of the Leeds United fans. It was absolutely amazing. Non-stop throughout the game, cheering, yada, yada, yada. Even, even after the, um, the fifth goal, we were still bouncing around, you know, just just... It was just nice. It was a, it was a beautiful sight. Um, obviously frustrating for a number of reasons. But um, standing outside the box, just seeing a couple of their fans turn around and say, oh, uh, hey, that's, hey, that's Beckford. And then they scored the first goal. And uh, obviously I'm a little bit sheepish. I'm like, oh, last thing I want to do is lose my mind here. And then we scored straight after the break. And I come out full of beans, bouncing around, chest up. Like, I'm like, yes, guys. All right. Yes. Go on and get in there. Like, I wanted to go nuts, but we were, we were kind of told to hold it down a little bit because we we're slightly outnumbered. Slightly. <laughs> <laughs> and then obviously not too long afterwards, they, they managed to score another one to put them ahead. And oh, I, uh, I got heckled a little bit and I'm not going to lie. Yeah. It hurt because I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't give yeah. anything back, yeah. you know, and that's, that was the most frustrating part. But that aside, try and try and, to put my neutral hat on and be right down the middle. It's great to see fans back in the stadiums and the atmosphere and, and just to hear players being jeered or players being cheered or, you know, tackles. People, like, people are sliding in winning tackles and the fans are cheering and they're going nuts at the referee. And it was just such a beautiful sight. Also, I have to, I have to say a special mention to the referees. As much as I, I don't have the best relationship with them, they were, they were, I can't imagine why. What, what, <laughs> what, what I, what has intrigued me and what I actually, to an extent, I quite, I quite respect is the rules on certain challenges and um, decisions are being let go rather than everything being pulled back. It's being let go. Like, uh, and, and I like that. I think it, I think yeah. it's nice. 
You know, apart I from obviously Bruno, we had a good, good game. Yeah, Fernandez had a goal which should have been ruled offside, but you know that's nitpicking. <laughs> you know, but all in all, all in all, um, apart from the result, it was a very positive um, experience seeing fans back in in football stadiums. Uh, like yeah. it's so nice. Listening on together. A packed out Ellen Road. This is going to be incredible, isn't it, lads? For the first time in God knows how long. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. I mean, you as a, oh. you as a player, Bex, right? If you if you were them lads who played, the, I mean, obviously we had a, we had a crowd at the end of the season, but you know we, the season was kind of already finished and it was rusted. Yeah, West Brom. Um, but like <laughs> you know, you're going through a whole a whole season, right, without crowds at Ellen Road. And you know what Ellen Road's like, and 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 but people like you know Rafinha and um, and Furpo coming in now, like. Yeah. How excited are they going to be for the weekend? They'll be excited, but they won't be crazy excited until they actually step out of the tunnel and they they see it firsthand for themselves. Because when somebody says to you, when somebody explains to you how something is, you take it all with a pinch of salt, naturally. You know, you think certain people yeah. are overreacting or over-exaggerating, et cetera, et cetera. However, having been in that situation myself, where a couple of the the old pros, I think um, Robbie Blake at the time when I first when I was first playing, he said, "Just be prepared; it might be a little bit loud." That was literally all he gave me. <laughs> that was all he gave me. Understatement like, oh, of the okay. century. Yeah, yeah. So we we came out and obviously heard the the roar, etc. And it was it was like goosebump esque, like it it was mental. So until they actually experience it themselves. They won't know, but right. they won't have to wait long. They won't have to wait no. long. I can't playing, wait. Um, so make sure what you do is you have a look at their faces, their expressions when they see it and they hear it for the first time, because that's going to be something special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be special. Okay. Guaranteed they're playing, smiling. Um, playing your old team, Everton. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. What do you think then? I know you touched on it a, a briefly a, a few minutes ago, but what do, you, what do you think for the week? What do you think the game's going to be like? Um... Do you know what? I think I think they're there to be got at, especially the first 15, 20 minutes. As I mentioned briefly before, they they conceded one of the um they conceded early, didn't they? Conceded yeah. a first yeah. goal. Um but their reaction to that was was it was very good. It was very what you would expect. Um I think that might have something to do with Rafa Benitez, um, his team talk as well. He's he's a one of those managers that um wins. You know, you look at his his managerial record the trophies that he's won. He's, he's a special guy. He's a special guy. Um, but I still think that they're there to, they're there to be gotten at, you know. All Leeds, aren't we? The official Leeds United podcast. How important is it that Marcelo Bielsa is with us now for another season in terms of that consistency? Obviously, the opening result, not you could tell, by the way, couldn't you, in that post-match interview, how gutted, obviously, he was. But mm. it's incredible that we've got him for another season, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Like the guy is a genius. I, I, I abs- I'm, I'm in awe of him. I love him. I think he's phenomenal. A fantastic guy, a fantastic manager. But he, the thing that I like the most is he doesn't try to be something he's not. He's just, he's just himself. He knows what he has to do. He knows what he wants to do, and he knows how to do it. It's just stringing all those those pieces together, and he seems to know what he's doing. The last, the last game's results to the side, but. You know, all in all, I'm, come on, we can't doubt the guy after one game, after what we've seen over the last three years. No, no, not at all. Mm. Uh, it's everyone, everyone gets things wrong and, and, as, and, 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 and as much as they get things right. And you made a great point, Bex. I mean, look, you can be a genius, but there is only so much you can do when the opposition is bringing on 80 million pound wingers when they're already three, four, one up. Do you know what I mean? Like it's... Mm. There is there is only so much you can you can do there, and um, I think to judge anyone on a on a performance against Man United at Old Trafford is is absurd. Um, mm. I think it's fantastic he signed a new deal. Um, I you, even you though you know it. he wants to stay, even no, I am. I'm thrilled. I, I am. Um, <laughs> you know, we, uh, I'm so it. glad that <laughs> because, uh, he, signed a, he signed a new contract. Well, do you know what? And, uh... I, because because you see you see you see the odd clickbait thing, don't you, on the internet, and it starts to frustrate me a little bit when people are like, "Oh, you don't know what he's doing." It's like, how dare you? Yeah. You have you know you have no right. Honestly, how how can you possibly look at the last three years and then the previous sixteen before that? 
mm. and start making these knee jerk stupid judgments after one game. It's ridiculous. Um, mm. That's how you get down the route of of you know having six managers a season because you just constantly you can't you know yeah. people don't want to take a loss anymore. So you can't win every bloody game, mm. um, and especially not when you're up against sometimes often impossible situations with the, the kind of money that's in the top half of the Premier League now. Mm. Um, so I do get frustrated by it, but I'm just thrilled. I'm thrilled he signed his new deal. I, I was worried right up until the moment, even, even though you know he's staying, you sort of, you, you keep getting told he's staying until he yeah. signs it. I'm yeah. always just so nervous. Oh, yeah, nervous. I am thrilled. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and obviously it's extremely, extremely early days, lads, but as Pat's not here, so we can't put him under any pressure. Realistically, what are your expectations for Leeds United this season? Uh, for me, I, I would say I would say I'm still looking for a mid-table finish, um, anywhere between uh, 15 and eight or seventh or eighth. I'm I'm very very happy with because don't forget we're still building and we can't take yeah. what happened last season as a as a god-given right as much as we want it to be. And I do, I desperately do. I want to see us play in European football, but. We have to build first. We have to, to build to a point where we're, we're able to sustain that and get the, the squad strength, the squad size a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger. Strength in depth, as, as Matty touched on, touched on briefly, they had a hundred, over £100 million pounds worth of uh, talent coming off the bench the other day. That's, that's the kind of levels that I would like us to, to, to reach, but it's not something that happens overnight. It's not something that's just going to happen in the blink of an eye. So it's it's naturally a building process. So for me, anywhere in between those those sort of positions is uh is perfect. Get to that forty point mark uh, forty point mark as quickly as we can, and then see where we can end up. This is the official Leeds United podcast. 